to explain about the, this question that is a uh, question is a one as a question is a, okay find okay so the question is asking about uh, find the natural response of of the system uh, which is described by the differential equation that is given by uh, natural response of the system the question is asked like that and which is described by the difference equation that is given by y of n plus 2 into y of n minus 1 and plus y of n minus 2 which is equal to x of n plus x of n minus 1. So with initial conditions, so with initial conditions uh, which are given by y of minus 1 is equal to and y of minus 2 is equal to 1. Okay, so the question is asked like that. So for that, uh, uh, the question, how to solve? Okay. Uh, let us take the given equation. What is the uh, the natural response? Or sometimes it may be also asked as a zero response. Okay. So zero input response. Okay. So uh, the another one is a zero input response. Okay. Find uh, the natural response. Or uh, it may also ask as the question is a zero input response. Okay. What out may be? What out may be? And uh, the answer is uh, okay. So is same way. Okay, for, for, for that, what is our equation? First of all, we, we, we took y of n plus 2 into y of n minus 1 plus y of n minus 2, which is equivalent to x of n. This is our uh, x of n minus 1. So, we need to find out the natural response or the zero input response. Zero input response. Okay. So, in order to determine the zero input response or uh, the G, uh, natural response, first of all, what should we do? We should equal the input terms. Input terms should be uh, equivalent to zero. We should equal in input terms should be equal to zero. So, then my equation becomes y of n plus 2 into y of n minus 1 plus y of n minus 2, which is equal to zero. Okay, because the question is also that zero, the natural response or zero input response. Okay, so zero input response. So you see here clearly zero input response. Okay, that means we need to consider, we need to take it as a this entire uh, input terms which is equivalent to zero. Okay, so this is our homogeneous equation. To find out the homogeneous solution, for that to find out the homogeneous solution, we need to consider y h of n is equal to okay lambda to the power of n. Consider this one. Okay, so consider uh, this one, y of uh, y h of n is equal to y lambda to the power of n. Okay, and substitute, uh, let us take, uh, uh, this is equation 1, this is equation 1. So this is equation 1, right, let us, uh, yeah, this is equation 1. Okay, and uh, this is uh, equation 2. Substitute this equation 2, equation 2 in equation 1. After substituting y h of n is equal to lambda to the power of n, so then my equation becomes lambda to the power of n plus 2 into lambda to the power of n minus 1 plus lambda to the power of n minus 2, which is equal to 0. By taking as a common lambda to the power of n minus 2 is a common, we get uh, lambda square, lambda to the n minus 2 common this time of nandi, lambda square plus 2 into lambda plus 1, which is equal to 0. Okay, so this lambda, uh, this term gets term cancelled and we get the equation that is lambda square, lambda square plus 2 into lambda plus 1 is equal to 0. By solving this equation which is equal to lambda plus 1 whole square is equal to 0 and we get uh, uh, this equation, uh, we get this equation, so what is that, uh, we get our equation lambda 1, uh, lambda 1 is equal to minus 1 and lambda 2 is equal to minus 1. Okay, so that 
two uh, two terms are like lambda one is equal to minus one and uh, lambda two is equal to minus one. Okay, so here the, up to up to this one there is no problem. We can uh, this is a question three. Up to this there is no problem, but uh, after getting after getting this uh, lambda one lambda two. Now see based on these roots, these are lambda one lambda two. With the, these are called as roots. Okay, so now see <coughs> based on the roots. Uh, if see the condition, note uh, note. Okay, uh, there are three cases are there. Three cases are there. Case one, case one. Okay, if roots are different, if roots are different. Okay, so then my y h of n equation, y h of n equation becomes c one lambda one to the whole to the power of n, c two lambda two whole to the power of n, and so on, c n lambda to the power of n, where c one, c two, c n all are nothing but arbitrary constants, where all are arbitrary constants. Okay, so this is case one. This is case one, and case two. See, uh, yeah. Case two. So, if roots are repeated, if roots are repeated, our case. Next, if roots are repeated, so then what is my homogeneous equation? Y h of n. Y h of n equations becomes what? If roots are repeated, then my equation, the homogeneous equation, is uh, looks like this way: c one plus c two into n. Plus c3 into n square, c3 uh, into n square, and so on up to cm n to the power of m minus one. Okay, lambda one whole to the power of n. Similarly, cm plus one lambda m plus one whole to the power of n, and so on like this way. C lambda lambda to the power of n. So this is a case two. And this is case one. Remember, these cases are very very important because we based on these cases only we are finding out this one. Okay, and uh, case three. What is case three? In case three, if roots are complex, if roots are complex. Okay, so how it is existed? If roots are complex means uh, if lambda one is equal to uh, lambda and it is equal to a plus uh, j beta. And if lambda two is equal to uh, lambda conjugate, that is a minus j beta. Okay. So then my homogeneous equation, then my homogeneous equation is uh, like this way. Okay. How it is equal to my y h of n is equal to y h of n is equal to r to the power of n a one cos n theta a two sin n theta sin n theta. Okay. So where R can be calculated as square root of a square plus b square, and theta is given by tan inverse of b by a. Tan inverse of b by a. Okay, so where a one, a two are nothing but this a one and a two are nothing but constants. A one and a two are nothing but constants. According to our problem, according to our problem, see our problem. What is our problem? So based on our problem, so here uh, let me. Um, Finally, so here the lambda one. So here the lambda one is minus one. Lambda two is also minus one. Now you tell me which case is uh, most suitable for this uh, roots or for this roots? Case one. Case one. What is case one? Case one is different. Okay. Case two. Case two. If roots are repeated, case three roots are uh, roots are complex. Okay. According to our problem, according to our problem, uh, our. Pro uh, Our according to our roots, it is in the form of roots are repeated. Roots are repeated. If roots are repeated, my our homogeneous equation we should consider like this way. Okay, c1 plus c2 into n plus c3 n square and so on up to the c m uh, lambda up to the power of uh, m minus one whole to the power of lambda n. Okay, like this way. So we need to consider the our uh, roots. The roots are uh, uh, our roots are uh, because of because. The roots are repeated because the roots are repeated. Okay, so lambda one is equal to minus one, and lambda two is also minus one. So then 
my yh of n my yh of n is given by c1 minus 1 whole to the power of n c2 into n minus 1 whole to the power of n okay see based on our general based on our sorry So this is a case 2. Case 2 yh of n is given by c1 plus c2 n plus c3 n square and cm plus lambda to the whole to the power of n minus 1 into lambda power n. Okay. So here because of the roots are repeated, our general equation, our homogeneous equation is equal to c1 minus 1 whole to the power of n, c2 n minus 1 whole to the power of n. Okay. So let us consider this is one of the one equation and uh, this is one equation. Equation uh, somehow what is the equation? Previous equation number. Uh, take some four. Okay. Now, so we need to solve this uh, equation four. We need to solve equation four. So by substitute, substitute n is equal to zero. N is equal to zero in equation four. In equation four, we get y h of zero or y not y of zero, which is equal to c one. Uh, minus 1 whole to the power of 0 okay minus 1 whole to the power of 0 and uh, c2 into 0 into minus 1 whole to the power of n that is equal to c1 into 1 and this becomes uh, 0 okay and this is c1 c1 only okay so by substituting 0 we are getting y of 0 is equal to c1 only c1 only sorry So it's time wasting. So my y y of zero is equal to c one. So this is a wow. Okay. So. So y of 0 is equal to c1. So this is equation 5. Similarly, substitute n is equal to 1 in equation 4 only. In equation 4 only. Okay. So then my equation is becomes uh, y of 1 is equal to c1 minus 1 whole to the power of 1 plus c2 into 1 minus 1 whole to the power of 1. And this becomes minus c1 and minus c2 so this is y of 1 and this is uh, equation number 6 equation number 6 okay now from the homogeneous equation so uh, what is our homogeneous equation our homogeneous equation is given by so from the homogeneous equation it is given by y naught plus 2 into y of minus 1 and y into minus 2 which is equal to 0 after by substituting n is equal to 0 n is equal to 0 we get the equation uh, is the, this way okay so y n and, and 2 in y n and minus 1 plus y n so by, we get, by just getting substitute n is equal to 0 we get the equation okay and here our initial conditions as already mentioned uh, in the problem it, it, it is given by that uh, y of minus 1 is equal to 1 and uh, y of minus 2 is also is equal to 1 so these are the initial conditions given okay by substituting in this equation y naught is equal to what is y of minus 1 1 so 2 into 1 and what is y of minus 2 1 which is equal to 0 so y of 0 is equal to what is the value minus 3 well what is the value here minus 3 okay this is a uh, y naught minus 3 okay next after substituting n is equal to 1, n is equal to 1 in a homogeneous equation, substitute uh, in a homogeneous equation. So then my equation becomes, uh, what is the equation? So y of n plus 2 into y of n minus 1 and 
y of n minus 2 is equal to 0. So if we replace with uh, this equation, so y of 1 and this 2 into y of 0 and this y of minus 1 is equal to 0. Already we mentioned uh, initial conditions are given y of minus 1 is equal to 1 and y of minus 2 is also, is also is equal to 1. So by substitute y of 1, y of 1 is equal to plus 2 into y of 0. What is the 2 y of 0 value? Minus 3. Okay, so it is it is obtained here. Okay, so 2 into minus 3. And y of minus 1, y of minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, now so after solving y of 1 and minus 6 uh, plus 1, that is y, y, y of 1 is equal to 0. Okay, and this y of 1, y of 1 is obtained is 5. Okay, so this is 1. So by using these two conditions, by substituting, by using these two conditions, now we are going to solve our equation uh, 5 and 6. Equation 5 and 6. What is equation 5? Equation 5 is defined as. Equation 5. Equation 5 is uh, y of y0 is equal to c1. Okay. And y1 is equal to minus c1, c2 that is equation 6. Okay. So from equation 5, from equation 5, y0 is equal to c1 okay and from equation 6 y1 is equal to minus c1 minus c2 minus c1 minus c2 just now we derived the values for y0 y not and y1 okay so y0 and y1 okay now see by substituting y0 what is the value of y0 y naught value is obtained. Y naught value up. What is the value? Y naught value is equal to minus three. Y naught value is equal to minus three. Okay. So by substituting, by substituting in the place of uh, y naught, minus three is equal to c one. So the what is the value of c one? The value of c one is minus three. Okay. Now by substituting y of one, what is the value of y of one? Y of one value is five. Okay. So five is equal to what is the value of c one? C one is minus three. So minus of minus three and minus c2 okay and finally the c2 is given by c2 is given minus c2 is given by 5 plus 3 okay so 5 plus 3 that 5 minus 3 and it becomes 2 okay 2 and c2 becomes c2 is equal to minus 2 c2 is equal to minus 2 c1 is minus 3 and c2 is equal to c2 is equal to minus 2 okay so we derive uh, uh, we now we we find out the values of c1 and c2 find out the values of c1 so now after solving the, our answer is the natural response. So the natural response, natural response is, okay, what is our natural response equation? So y n of n, y n of n is given by, okay, uh, what is the equation c1 into minus 1 whole to the power of n plus c2 n into minus 1 whole to the power of n okay so by substituting c1 c2 values in this equation our equal our uh, our answer is becomes minus 3 minus 1 whole to the power of n okay and c2 that is minus 2 okay and uh, minus 1 whole to the power of n okay so this is our y natural of n okay so this is our answer so this is our answer